Hello, this is Haka the Bean, and today we are going to r slash gatekeeping, a brand new subreddit where we have uh, so many people guarding gates. And I don't mean in a literal sense. You'll see what I mean. Anyway, if you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Signing off with someone who is gatekeeping a Solid Snake. Or I guess Metal Gear or Solid Out. What? Oh, right. My fake fans have gone to bandwagon. People enjoying and discovering the game, you're like, how dare they? This kind of reaction is like playing a Kirby. This kind of reaction is kind of like playing a Kirby game and being shocked. Shocked, I say, to see him eating other creatures. A met autocrom of interest before jumping. Oh, wait, wrong uh, voice. This kind of reaction is kind of like seeing a cur playing Kirby game and being shocked. Shocked, I say, to see him eating other creatures. A modicum of interest before joining. before jumping knees first into a beloved franchise and making an ass of oneself will be respectful. Hey, man, all I can say is I'm glad they gave me this dude. They give this dude, Snake, I think his name is, from Fortnite, his own franchise. Yep, fake fan. That's a great response, though. <laughs> Interesting guitar music room. Yay or nay? That's a really nice room, actually. Really loving it. No. Playing guitar is gay. I'd never. You know all those guys who spend their college years learning guitar so they can try and pick up chicks? Yeah, apparently those men trying to pick up chicks with guitar skills are gay now. I'm sorry, straight men that want to pick up chicks with guitar skills. I guess you're gay now. <sighs> Here we've the, we have the ultimate gamer or gatekeeping. Oh yeah, by the way, I already kind of went through it like this for like a few minutes, and then and I got my recording I screwed up. That's why there's a second tab already open. No, you're not a gamer. I'm so sick of these people who think they're gamers. No, you're not. Most of you are not even close to being gamers. I see these people saying I put well over 100 hours in this game. It's great. Yeah, that's a gamer. That's nothing. Most of us can easily put 300 plus in all of our game games. I mean, good for you, but I don't know about this most of us thing. A lot of people probably have like 60 hours in, in some games. A lot of hours in, in other games. Like, Breath of Wild has... Uh, uh, as an average playtime of uh, of over a thousand hours for everyone who plays it, because it's such a huge game and there's so much to explore. I imagine that's the same with Tears of the Kingdom and most open world games, because there's so much to explore. I see people who only have the Nintendo Switch and claim to gamers. Nintendo kind of is one of the first gaming consoles that are still around to this day. Contact me when you pick up a PS4 controller. Then we can be friends. My incel, we are not going to be friends. And yeah, I'm calling this guy an incel. He kind of is one. Also, dear all women. See? Remember my point right there. Pokemon is not a real game. It's an RPG game with multiple things that are based on the normal RPG logic. Like, for instance... And attack types and weaknesses. Animal Crossing is not a real game. It's a simulator. And also, it's a pretty hard to play one at that. The Sims is not a real game. It's literally a simulator. Mario is not a real game. 
you know that game that's been around longer than this guy has probably been playing games and it's like the is like one of the very first first games in history yeah apparently they're not real it's not a real game stardew valley is not a real game simulator and rpg i think is what stardew valley is i don't know i need to play it mobile games are not real games I mean, have you ever played Genshin Impact, Honkai Impact, Honkai Star Rail, or Reverse 1999? I mean, I know this post is probably like years old by now, but sheesh. Put down the baby games and play something that requires challenge and skill for once. Watch this guy not be able to get a Flurry Rush in Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom. I didn't say that uh, at we're not skilled. Sincerely, all of the actual gamers. Weird. I don't think an actual gamer wrote this. I have 70 hours of work every week. You think 40 is bad? That's cute. I don't know why you're... Acting like that's a flex. You're both exploited by a capitalist a, a, a system, so it's bad no matter or how many hours you're working. Okay, this works as gatekeeping to star Pokemon. I'm gonna be real. I got Pokemon Violet, and my scar and my starter is Mia Scar or no. Just because I found that little kitty adorable. And then they just got really, really cute and, and, and amazing looking. This is facts. Skill and their supremacy. Average Croc Quaffle, I admit, as are that fan. Oh, yes. I make I give you a bad at, at Wojak, which means I'm automatically right. Okay. But here's the thing I have a life. Average edge skill and their enjoy. Uh, uh, yeah. And I made myself the chat, so I'm right. Yeah, this doesn't really prove anything. That's what this was. If I actually did uh, the right picture. We are eight minutes in. Texas 101, wearing a buckle you didn't win. Oh wait, this is a loser, sorry. Texas 101, wearing a buckle you didn't win is a cowboy's equivalent of stolen valor. If you, and you never wear square-toed boots to professional or formal events, especially with slacks. No real God-fearing Texas cowboy needs to be told these things. Wearing a buckle you didn't win is a bad thing. You better tell every single Western wear store in Texas to stop selling them. Fucking idiot. Of course they sell them. There's never been a, so been a shortage of fucking idiots who want to LARP as a real cowboy. In Texas, they are dumb enough to spend money on one. Okay, go off. Just gatekeeping Texas wear, I guess. Oh yeah, hate keeping. If you're gonna call yourself a fan of a video game, stop hating on it. Part of the reason I left certain fandoms and don't talk about Mortal Kombat 1 is how so many people who claim to be fans are bashing this game left and right. I do not know how I would turn to Tank Hill. I do not know if I can go back. I used to fire up the Ruby fandom. That are most vocal haters calling themselves fans. Spam the subreddit. And air it with hate. What am I doing? I'm seeing the same thing here. This is supposed to be fan subreddit, not hate subreddit. What is going on here? You know, just, you know, enjoy things. MK1 isn't perfect and it's flawed, sure. But like Ruby, it's something meant to be enjoyed. Whether in spite of its flaws or because of them. So can we just enjoy MK1 for what it is? 
You better tell me how that freaking sounded because it sounded horrible to me. It sounded incredibly country. Also, I'm going to say something right now. You can be a huge fan of something while still pointing out its flaws. Like, I'm a huge fan of Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. I think they are great games. I think they have an amazing amount of flaws. And as all Zelda games except for Zelda 1 seem to have, an, um, an extremely high amount of glitches. Especially 3D Zelda games. Like, you could beat the game before you even complete the first dungeon in, in Ocarina of Time. Unfortunately, not satire. Maybe you just graduate with a degree in literature, and now you want to study e-physics. Hmm. Unshortification of learning. There are a lot of videos on YouTube, such TikTok, etc. that give the appearance of education. But if you look closely, they are really just entertainment. It's just very convenient for everyone involved. The people watching enjoy thinking they are learning, but actually they are just having fun. People creating this content also enjoy because fun has a much larger audience, fame, and revenue. But as far as learning go, this is a trap. This, con this content is a an epsilon away from... Watching The Bachelorette, it's like, like snacking on those garden veggie straws which feel like you're eating healthy until you read, look at the ingredients. Learning is not supposed to be fun. It doesn't have to be actively not fun either. But the primary feeling should be that of effort. It should look a lot less like that 10 minute full body workout from your local digital media creator. A lot more like a serious session at the gym. You want the mental equivalent of sweating. It's not that the quickie doesn't do anything, it's just that it is wildly suboptimal if you actually care to learn. I find it helpful to explicitly declare your intent up front as a sharp binary variable in your mind. Fuck binaries. I say this as a trans person. Fuck all binaries. If, and I don't mean like, I, I, I screw them in general, I mean just Fuck the idea that things should be binary. That's stupid. If you are consuming content, are you trying to be entertained or are you trying to learn? Both. If you are creating content, are you trying to entertain or are you trying to teach? Both. You'll go about down a different path in each case. No. Attempts to seek this stuff in between actually clamps to zero. I think you're actually wrong because in my experience, when I was learning, I was having fun. When I was not learning and trying to learn, learn the boring way, I learned nothing. I crammed for or test and then and then and, and, and forgot everything. I didn't actually have fun with it. That's why this, this idea is actually outdated and wrong. Learning can and should be fun. In fact, the best way to teach people is by having them have fun. I mean, how do you usually learn how the controls of a video game? Through a fun tutorial that feels uh, uh, interesting and, and fun and nice. So for those who actually want to learn, unless you're trying to learn something narrow and specific, close those tabs with quick blog posts. Close those tabs I've learned XYZ in 10 minutes. Who the hell is using tabs when they're on TikTok or YouTube Shorts? You're on your phone. Consider the opportunity you can also snacking. And seek the meal, the textbooks, docs, papers, annuals, long form. Alloc allocate a four hour window. Don't just read, take notes, reread, rephrase, process, manipulate, and learn. I mean, that's the sort of stuff that English teachers told me to do that actually made me not want to read. Legitimately, that actually killed reading for me when I was younger. 
And for those actually trying to educate, please consider writing slash recording long form design for someone to get sweaty, especially in today's era of quantity over quality. Give someone a real workout. This is what I aspire to do in my own educational work. My audience will decrease. The ones that remain in might not, not even like it, but at least we'll learn something. You know what I'm doing with my content? Entertaining, because that's the main freaking point. And from here on, I have no idea what I'm going to scroll on. <sighs> oh no. This is gonna get bad. <laughs> Make gaming great again. <laughs> gaming has only improved since... I don't know the beginning of it. At least I think it has. Anyway, let's read this. Um, some sort of incel voice. Do you know what I find so funny about this feminist inclusion of women in the gaming space? I remember back in the day, guys were clowned by girls and even women for liking video games, comics, and anything related to nerd culture. Yeah. That's because you were differing from the norm, which was uh, this had heteronormativity ABS that I always differed against. Now, suddenly, you see fake geek gamer girls everywhere. One, I'm not fake. Two, I am a geek gamer girl. And three, I'm more of a gamer than you. Now they want to participate in a space they do not respect and demand that you give them a seat at the table. Bitch, please, I've been a in a gamer since I was 12. Actually, since I was like seven. Video games raised me a lot more than they did you. The community opened the gates and welcomed them in. And now we have people like Anita Isakesian and many others who destroyed it from the inside. Um. You know, gaming of what has always been done by girls in some extent. Whether it be people who were, and they were young and first starting on gaming, and, and who, who thought they were or boys and learn that they are actually girls like myself or just girls who just played video games. I was the former. I'm not talking about the actual gamer girls. We know who they are. They are outliers and teased and ridiculed by other girls and women for partaking in geek culture. No, we aren't. They don't go on social media and bitch about how hard it is to be a female in a space that was always dominated by boys and men. Neither does uh, anyone else. They adapt and trash talk like the boys. I just turned off voice chat. I mean, I'm playing on console. I can't really do much chatting in the first place, so... <laughs> they don't want to see their game censored. I mean, I don't think anyone does. But let's be real, for the longest time, there was no freaking... The graphics weren't aren't there yet. They also love to see attractive women in their games. Yeah, that's why I'm glad that we have more women working on games. Gatekeeping is essential, and now we have an uphill battle to bring gaming back to what it used to be. Gatekeeping is never essential. I think gaming is fine, and it's not women being invited into the space that's the problem. It's corporations rushing in game developers. Like, for instance, what you had happen with Cyberpunk.
I don't know who needs to hear this, but this is not acceptable for an adult. Wearing different colored socks? <laughs> Lady, or whoever the hell you are. I intentionally choose mismatched socks because I find them absolutely adorable. Like on one leg, I'll be wearing this fuzzy attire. On the other, I'll be wearing this um, like rainbow tie high, and it's gonna be freaking and amazing. I love doing stuff like that. Gatekeeping a doom. Doom Eternal 2020 review. No girls are trans people allowed. Oh. I'm trans and a girl. Just like OP, I'm definitely not allowed. <laughs> I don't know if this counts, but gatekeeping anime? Which one are you? Good night, Pun Pun, Akumega Kill, Monster, Re Zero. Fire Force, Toko, Ghoul, Slash, Demon Slayer, Bungle, Stray Dogs. Oh, I actually did watch a comic a kill. And Tokyo Ghoul and Demon Slayer. I haven't gone to the third season of Tokyo Ghoul though. I just got really sad. Naruto, High School of the Dead, Spy X Family, Jujutsu Kaisen, Dead in Wonderland. I watched the entirety of Naruto. Not Shibuden. I'm not going there. Not after I already tortured for like... I already had been tortured for like 10... And years trying to finish Naruto. I also watched Up Spike's Family and so I need to catch up on it. And I started to do Kaisen, but I kind of lost us interest. I read some of the Death in Wonderland and um, manga. Berserk, Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man is fun. Jujutsu Kaisen, IQ. One Piece, Kamisama. A, a kiss, Kimi no Toruke, Witch Hat, Atelier. Oh, I don't know any of those. Blood Sea, Code Gate, Eos, Tomochan, Pokemon. I feel like I know the name Tomochan from something. Formal Alchemist, Cowboy Bebop. Monogatari series, JoJo's, Kakiguri. Oh gosh. I watched Formula Alchemist Brotherhood. And I watched a lot of Monogatari series, but then I got to the toothbrush scene and I quit. Scott Pilgrim, Death Note, Old Slash Attack on Titan, My Hero Academia. Okay, if we're talking about the Scott Pilgrim animation, where, like, he died or whatever. Yeah, I love that. And I did it watch Death Note and My Hero Academia. I started Attack on Titan when I was younger, and I never finished it because I lost out of... Because I, I lost interest. Hailsing, Call of the Night, Evangelion, Future Diary, Perfect Blue. Okay. I watched Helsing Ingold from the Bridge. I don't know what Call of the Night is, but I did watch Evangelion. It's Neon Genesis El Evangelion, by the way. Depressing show. Anyway, I also watched Future Diary. And I don't know what Perfect Blue is. <sighs> Gatekeeping being from Minnesota and MacGyver, maybe? Very MacGyver like. Very, well done, sir. But you're not sure about the ice thickness, so you do this. 
a real Minnesotan? And what you said, that's very red green of you, because that is the very kind of that is the kind of thing red green did. MacGyver they only did the things he needed to get out of a situation. Okay. Are you keeping Alice in chains? I do not know. Dude, are you Lane Stanley? Don't like that name. Fuck's sake, it's Staley. And today I found out I've been mispronouncing one of my favorite singers' names for the past 15 years. Nobody has ever corrected me until now. Thanks. Because he wasn't that favorite to you. So fuck my safety then. If you drive with two hands, you shouldn't be driving. Why? That's safe, my dude. That's actually what most laws say you should be driving with. They made texting illegal, they made uh, calling illegal, they made even eating a burger while you're in your car illegal. Even if you aren't the one driving. Thing is, most people drive with both their hands. It offers the most control over the, the wheel. I'm actually kind of curious what that says. <sighs> I'm gonna wait until I get into a an actual on my one, or I'm just gonna end it when we get to half an hour because I am not gonna make this as long one. Why does anyone think Luke redid himself, or was the most Jedi thing Luke ever or did at the end of uh, TLG? Miserable sack of salt. Have you ever heard anyone say this outside the internet? Honest to God, I don't know who can remember the, these equals, and even less anyone who, who liked them. I like I legitimately had a guy in school who loved them. He told me he was never. He, he was a newer fan, I've seen all the Star Wars for the first time in one go during quarantine. It's playing a lot, really. Gatekeeping at its finest. Games are meant to be kept. Tons of franchises and IPs are being overwhelmed by hordes of fans that didn't appreciate the work in the first place. Only got on a team when it had become popular through hundreds of millions of advertising dollars or something shiny and new. Go above the schlock that drives the downfall of the franchise. See Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Battlefield, Dungeons and Dragons. Actually, it got better with fans because we had less snackers like you running the joint, etc. It's like those people wrecking the poppy fields in California for Instagram clout. The fields were always there and beautiful and appreciated by people who knew, but once some trendy photos were taken by top influencers, the consumers fled in and destroyed it. I don't know anyone that builds a gate with the intention of letting everyone in. It defeats the whole purpose. This is how you end up with Disney Star Wars and the story is going from bad to worse, with a few exceptions. So you bet there's exceptions. Because guess what? Disney has been writing stories since the freaking 20s. I mean, let's remember, Walt Disney himself was actually an anti semite Gatekeeping smoked meats. Things that need said. 1. Don't ruin a tri-tip by smoking it like a brisket. Take that thing off the smoker at 125 and sear it. 2. Chunk roast is not poor man's brisket. It costs more per pound and you are making yourself poor over time by buying it instead of brisket. But it's delicious in its own right. It's just more expensive. 3. Burn eggs come from I'm brisket. If you're cooking a different type of meat by cubing it in brass and get it in the smoker, come up with a new name. 4. Stop wearing black gloves in videos just to look cool. 5. Get off my lawn! I mean, that one was just as I we were showing off. 
I saw a lot of people wear black gloves in videos. Have you ever seen a VTuber's hand cam? They always wear or, or gloves to cover or their hands. Uh huh. 40k is in the hand of normies now. I still don't know anything about 40k, and I kind of don't care to learn. At this point, I'm way too tired. Anyway, I think it's safe to say that 40k has now entered normie status. I wonder how it will change. You mean because there are a whole bunch of people trying to explain that the extremely difficult to understand the stuff that is 40k. Hmm. <sighs> Oh no. What did I do? This might actually have to be the end. Okay, yeah. That's gonna have to be the last one. Anyway, let's start with the soup harder. <sighs> What? Probar is a root word and uses R when uh, using acid. You say Reba when you use acid in command form, telling them to do something to switch value. The response is unclear and unhel unhelpful. Please delete. One, your response is unkind and unhelpful. Please delete. To maybe clarify what exactly is wrong about my comments, so I can fix it or learn from it. Actually, I'm not sure who, who the gatekeeper is because I'm not even sure what this is about. Three, I don't see you helping out. I'm still learning. Maybe cuts me some slack. Oh, this is a gatekeeper. If you're not proficient in the language, maybe you should offer advice about the language. You can give examples of tense or explain how the spice owl switch. Some already answered OP's question perfectly, and no other response, especially one that doesn't do a good job of explaining, is needed. Oh, that's what was just rude. Get a life. Everyone seems to understand the comment, but you. There lies a problem. Maybe, listen, kid, maybe trying to teach others is my way of learning. I don't intend to steer anyone in the wrong direction. If my comment is incorrect, trust that it'll be, I trust that I'll either be downvoted or that someone will correct me. I'm trying my general best to learn a language. I don't need this negativity, but my hope is if you actually corrected me or just did nothing. Although I didn't see any other comments here or at the, or at the time that I posted my comment. You are never vegan. You are an on and off plate based dieter. No true Scotsman. Wrong. Veganism is a moral philosophy. If you don't adopt the philosophy, you're not vegan by temporarily eating food that aligns with the moral philosophy. You eat kosher food that doesn't mean you follow Judaism. Eating plants for a reason other than ethics is simply a diet, a plant based diet. Wait, really? You're really saying this now? <sighs> First of all, Veganism is about your diet. The idea that it's a moral philosophy is annoying.
If you're temporarily eating food that aligns with the moral philosophy because you believe in the moral philosophy, then you were vegan. Well, if we didn't do it for health and environmental reasons, they did for ethics. You can be plant-based for ethical reasons, but that does not make you a vegan. If the ethical reasons have to do with animals, then yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. So I might choose to eat a plant-based diet because they're, they're against artificially inseminating animals without having anything against killing animals. If your diet consists only of plants, and and only plants, and I do mean only plants, no freaking and milk, unless it's based off of plants, then you're vegan. If your diet is no meat, no fish, which is in some places considered different than meat, and no animal milk, then yes, you are vegan. And this is coming from someone who doesn't care. Honestly, if you're vegan, that's great. Good for you. Me, seeing Evermire and Death Queen in that look interesting, excited hopping in my seat. Also me, seeing that in the first... There's a shitlord art redacted is listed as casting aid, and the obnoxious no thing creepy bashing piece of crap that is blank is voicing Roman and both nearly breaking my neck from shaking my dang head so hard. And what freaking world do either of these shitlords that have shown everything except being fans of the show have any grounds to be involved in any fan projects? Like, these aren't even questionable. questionable. These are straight up uh, crap bags that have gone after Kruby themselves. Let's go over it. They bash a show. They bash Kruby. They fell at having a grasp on a damn show character's relationship with an as they fell repeatedly at understanding things in it and start blatantly. Aiding blatantly wrong or ISBS about it. They've shown themselves as sexist and homophobic. Wow, that is actually a problem. They've shown themselves as disgusting assholes with low egos that aren't deserved at all. Redacted doesn't even fit it as a voice for Roman. Redacted, who has obnoxiously and ridiculously stated how he's a bad writer in the actual room writers, I can't remember if he actually name dropped them, but honestly, it wouldn't be shocking if he did. The guy that thought of Fondest Heat Cycles, Velvet X Carden. Card have an, an, an actually a good guy the down angle. Asphalt Roman back to life and linked him to freaking Oz. As if that works in any way. Did a sauna scene to have fan service. Had Blake essentially become a cop. Ilya getting harsher judgment. Besides Shade the man. Deserves an entire a character arc. This insult is that creep as having a romantic relationship with Raven. Who is so damn beyond his level. It's on her, oh, oh. He really shoves the... Fam MCs behind males, etc., thinks his ass is, is a better writer. I don't. I don't really buy into Ruby drama at this point. As a side, pulls the camera to face full, to full face cam. Oh, they're role playing in their posts. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Redacted. If you run across this, you aren't at all. You aren't even close. You're just another intel chat peddling in and right wing ingisms that lead to discussing as as elements in your bullshit. Should I really consider reading this in the in the a cringe voice? Redacted has a history of problematic events within. Elements with this reading Ruby Bull. Oh shit. Redacted. Try to poison a well. Of oh, going into V9, be realizing what everyone else said, and that V's are becoming, and him trying to paint the founder anger that ignores the 10 years, 9 volumes of work put into VV leading up to said vibes people had about their becoming official. Redacted. Who tried to do Cherish, his AU spinoff, and failed, tried to do his own project without anything to do with Ruby, and failed, and it's going back to another Ruby AU project. 
Redacted basically dived into the idea of Yang being an airhead party girl, throwing out her entire true self, not to mention his redesign sexualizing her in the exact aspects one would expect from an incel crap bag. Barely anything in there weighs barely anything there or, or top massive cleavage. Like these shit bags should be nowhere near fan projects. Don't give them novelization as if they aren't what they are. <sighs> yeah, I kind of lost the motivation to do the freaking cringe voice after I started hearing them mention that the person behind it is actually the person they're, they're criticizing is actually bad. Jacqueline can be at the top movies. Is aren't going to be related to Batman, so I don't know. Health set is obviously it's up to the story writers and directors to establish him as a menacing threat. Joe Quinn is my is in my a top five my favorite Joker portrayals like next to Nicholson, Romero, Ledger, and Hamill. Actually, he never played a Joker. He played a a, a character vaguely like the Joker, but only vaguely. No, he played the Joker. You not liking it or whatever silly issue you made up doesn't change that. Nope, Sam, having a name on it doesn't make it so. It should have at, it should have at least a passing resemblance to the actual character to actually be considered as having played the role. The only silly issue with the people who... It's only a silly issue to people who aren't fans. To actual friends, it's pretty germane. Germane? Like the character from Adventure Time? Why are you suddenly bringing up Jake's brother? Alright, that's gonna have to be the end of the video. That was r slash gatekeeping. I did a lot of funny voices in this one. <laughs> If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to your channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!